The following program has been generously funded by the Patterson Foundation. This book is cool. Welcome, my friends, to This Book is Cool. My name is Beth Judah, and I'm the director of the Suncoast Campaign for Grade Level Reading. We have a very entertaining book today. It's called Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. It was written by Doreen Cronin, and pictures are by Betsy Lewin. And we have a special guest today. She's going to tell us why she thinks this book is cool. Today, we have Samantha Kremen. Hi, Samantha, how are you? I'm great, Beth, how are you doing today? I'm doing wonderfully well. I, I have to say that I'm still smiling because of this book. It made me laugh right out loud. Can you tell me one of the reasons why you think this book is cool? Yeah, I really like the premise of the book. The cows that can type, I think is just hilarious. <laughs> it is. and. The premise of the book with, you know, the cows not being able to say what they need, but as soon as they start typing, they start typing all of these demands to the farmer. And I felt, I felt sorry for the poor farmer because all of a sudden he had all of these animals making demands on him. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was cool too. I also enjoyed the language. I thought the author was very creative in using words to describe the different sounds in the book. Mm -hmm. So I think it's cool that the words click clack and clickety clack sound just like what it would if you were typing on a typewriter. And those words that sound like what they are is called an onomatopoeia. You are absolutely correct. I was just in my mind going, I know there's a word that means that. What is that word? And you came up with it. I love, you have a very robust vocabulary. Well done. Well done. I, I also enjoyed the, the humor in the book that the cows can't speak English, but they can type. Yes. It was so funny, and I can't imagine being the farmer and, you know, approaching the barn one morning thinking that he was just going to milk his cows and to encounter a typed message from the cows saying that they all wanted an electric blanket. Right, and then staging a strike, no milk, and then the farmer Brown has to come back and deliver his own demands. I think they're just really great, funny characters. So after the cows start typing messages, the chickens get in on the act as well. And the chickens start making demands of the farmer. And at first, the farmer kind of ignores them. But then, as Samantha told us, the animals get smart and they decide they'll go on strike until the farmer meets their demands. It was very, very clever is when the duck enters the story as this neutral party and delivers the notes back and forth. I thought that was really funny. I like the ducks. They're probably my favorite. I thought the duck was a great character. Let me show the picture. I won't show the very last picture because that is a surprise for the very end. But you can see that all of a sudden, after the ducks see that the cows got everything they wanted just by typing, Look what happens. The ducks start typing as well. So I've heard that you've got some pretty exciting things going on near you this summer that have to do with reading. What, what's happening? So I work for the city of Northport Parks and Recreation and we have a summer camp every year for elementary school children. And we just started like two years ago having the Sun Coast Reading Challenge at camp. I took it over last year and this year we have made every single week part of that challenge. So this week we were the reading rangers. Um, so we did our stories and they've been reading and then today they got to dress up as their favorite kid character, book characters, yes. So we've had Harry Potter running around and we've had Cat in the Hat. We had a uh, Miss Giggles, 
So it, it's, it's a lot of fun. And every single week we will be doing something to do with reading around the world, reading about different countries. It's just a lot of fun. And the kids are really into it. We, we love it. That sounds terrific. It makes me want to come to camp there. And, and Oh, you can come see us anytime. <laughs> <laughs> and when you said that you have a Harry Potter running around, I have to co- compliment you on, on the scarf that you have in the background. I, I see that you, you are an alumni of Hogwarts. I am, yes. I am a huge fan of Harry Potter. Harry Potter were the books that got me into reading, and I read as an adult now, and it was all because of Harry Potter. So big fan, big fan. <laughs> I, too, am a big fan. Have you ever thought about what house you would want to be a member of if you if you were actually able to go to a, to Hogwarts? I would. Actually, everybody usually puts me in Gryffindor because of the color of my hair, because I look like a Weasley, but I am actually a Slytherin. I am oh. very resourceful and ambitious. That's why I'm where I am today. So I think Slytherin is a great house with good qualities. They're not all evil, I promise. Well, I want to thank you for taking a a moment from the fun to come and talk to us. We certainly appreciate it. Keep reading. Yes, and thank you for having me, Beth. There are some wonderful things going on in Northport this summer. A lot of children are reading, and Samantha is so enthusiastic about reading. I can't wait to hear all of the books that they've read. I know this is going to be one of them. Click, clack, moo, cows that type. It's very funny. And it has some great words for our word bank. The first word for our word bank is the word impossible. Impossible means not able to occur or not able to exist or be done. Not possible is impossible. The next word for our word bank is sincerely. Sincerely, that means to be honest, true, or genuine. Sincerely. Impatient. Impatient is not wanting to wait. It's a lack of patience. Impatient. Our next word is the word furious. Furious. Furious means very angry. Our next word for our word bank is the word ultimatum. Ultimatum. That means a final demand or a statement of your terms. An ultimatum. The next word for our word bank is the word that Samantha recommended. The word onomatopoeia. I think that might be the longest word we've ever put in our word bank. Onomatopoeia is defined as a word that sounds like the common sound of the object it is describing. For example, a typewriter goes clickety-clack, or dynamite goes kaboom, or a train goes woo, woo. So clickety-clack, kaboom, and woo, woo are examples of onomatopoeia. We have a fun game for our activity. We're going to play animal charades using just onomatopoeia words. So we have a bunch of cards that we've created and on each card, we've written the name of an animal. And the game is to put all of the cards down, face down, and each person takes a turn selecting a card. But when you select the card, you have to come up with the word that describes the sound that the animals make. So let's see, I'm gonna pick this one. Oh, okay. My word is bow wow, bow wow. But I'd say it, bow wow, bow wow. Because maybe I'd be like a little chihuahua dog. That's right, a dog. Let me try this one. Uh Uh-oh. Okay, this one. Cock-a-doodle-doo! Yes, you're right. It's a rooster. You can have all kinds of fun with your family and friends playing a game like this. Just write down all the different animals that you can think of on a card 
and then put them face down. If you do decide to play this game, we'd love for you to take a picture of you playing it and send it to us. You can send it to connect at gradelevelreadingsuncoast.net. We're also interested in your ideas for an episode of This Book is Cool. Select a book that you really like and tell us some of the reasons why you think the book is terrific. Include some words for our word bank and remember to tell us what the words mean and select an activity that goes along with the book. Send your ideas to us at connect at gradelevelreadingsuncoast.net. It was really fun to talk to Samantha today about the book, Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type, and very fun to play this game, although maybe a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> I hope that you will read a lot of books this summer and share those books with the people that you love. Remember, reading is the key to succeeding. I look forward to seeing you again. Bye for now. Ah!